her Pikachu, I heard Pokemon, but it's uh, it's Pikachu. And I don't know if you if you can see it that well, but if you look over here in the left side, this is how I basically started him off. I started him off with circles, triangles, and squares. So if we already have uh, knowledge of how Pikachu looks like, we can start him off with all the simple shapes, circles, ovals, um, triangles, and squares, and get him to look like a Pikachu. The next character that I have is, and uh, can anyone name who this is? Everyone, I, I want everyone to name him. Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes. Books yeah, but he has a he has a he has a specific name. Let's see. I think Jessalyn. What's what's his name? Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. There you go, Bugs Bunny. And I think Bugs Bunny is uh is supposed to be from the Bronx, if I'm not mistaken. So that's a cool fun fact. But before I even drew Bugs Bunny, I started him off with circles, ovals. And, um, and little football shaped diamonds and stuff. It was pretty cool. And we can basically just, you know, make a Bugs Bunny. So, uh, I think today we're gonna start off with, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take this from Dister, from, our, from your last teacher, his name was Dister. Uh, I'm gonna take this from him and uh, let's all do like little exercises with our hands. Uh, do front face. Um, so let's let's shake out our let's shake out our fingers first for like 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now our wrists let's do it for five seconds one two three four five this is um it's good for the body it gets the blood flowing gets the the creative juice is going in your mind and it gets you ready because like when you're drawing for like a whole day like you definitely don't want to cramp up like not good not good for drawing um and also i later later on today i want to touch up on on uh uh what we can utilize these these ideas to then um, help us further our progression as a person in the future um, maybe one day you guys want to go into the art field and there's many jobs out there as an artist. Uh, but later we're going to touch up on that later after we do this. But I think first, uh, we're definitely just going to focus on, um, on our drawings today. So, uh, everyone just like get one sheet of paper, one, uh, just one regular sheet of paper and any color, any marker color. I'm going to use this cool uh graphic green and um uh, and we're just gonna do like a this is a couple of practice shapes you know uh just to get our get our wrist going and we're gonna do several circles we're gonna do several squares and several triangles and then after that we're gonna uh start learning how to break down characters into shapes okay so uh overhead camera let's uh let's basically start with one sheet of paper and our top row, we're just gonna do a bunch of different circles, different sizes, you know? You could do three circles like this. Do one spiral circle. And just different circles, you know? Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just to, you know, get your hands going. Okay, and once we're done with that, on our second row, we're going to do a bunch of squares. So just any kind of square, it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong answers. So we're just going to just do a bunch of squares. You can do a rectangle. You can do squares on top of squares. You can do a square inside of a square. <clears throat>
You can do a diamond, which is still a square. A diamond is actually a rhombus. There you go. A diamond is a, is a rhombus. We can, um, if, if you see over here, like we can actually, <clears throat> if we break down the shape of a diamond, it's a triangle and a triangle. I think, what is this, tra uh, trapezoid, right? I think Jared knows the name of this shape right here. It's, um... This one. Yeah, yeah, that's the trapezoid, trapezoid. There you go, so it's a trapezoid and a, a triangle. So, <clears throat> now on our third line, we're going to do a bunch of triangles. So... There's no right or wrong answer here. You can do a long triangle, you can do a small triangle, you can do a sharp triangle, just as much triangles as possible, just so you can get the juices flowing today. Is, is the music off for them? Right? No. Ooh, a lot of music right now. Do as much triangles as you can. Small, small or big ones. So that's it for our little our little sketches just so we can we can you know um, get ourselves assimilated with uh, the drawing that we're gonna do. Um, and I think today, uh, we can get our notebooks out and we can go on a fresh new page. Uh, and let's take out, if everyone has, a, actually let's do, let's do the color, color pencils. Um, pick out a color pencil that has, that's like, um, something's not, that's not too dark, something that's like bright. I'm gonna use this cool, let me see if I can see it on the, I'm gonna, for me, for myself, I'm gonna use a, 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 a dark purple. But you guys, yeah, you guys can use like a, yeah, just so, just so you guys can see, you guys up there. I'm gonna use a color purple, Orchid. So that's the one that I'm using right now. There you go. I'm using Orchid right now, so, um, I would like for you guys to use something a little bit lighter so then you could just uh, uh, you could get used to uh, drawing from light to dark so uh, before you guys even start I'm gonna show you what I mean by breaking down like a character face a shape you know into shapes uh, and I'm gonna need your help because I, I haven't been watching cartoons in such a long time So I need someone to give me a cool cartoon or something that's like easy to draw not too crazy So I need I need I need a few suggestions here Let's see Jaron what suggestions do you have and, and John I, after Jaron let me hear John's suggestion Spongebob Okay, that's there's that's one. I'm gonna write it down Sponge, Bob, John, what's your idea? Why don't you draw a snail? What happened? Gary, the snail. From Gary, snail. Gary the snail. Okay, so let's Gary. put that there. Let's see. Gary. Anyone else has any cartoons or any characters that you guys know? Justin, you look like you know one. You you, you know a cartoon character. I'm thinking of the one. Zeli May, you know any cartoon characters? Um, Patrick. Patrick, okay, good. So I think this is this is really good. This is uh, pretty interesting. So we're gonna have three different shapes here. So uh, I think we can we can do that. We can definitely work with that. Uh, so okay, my overhead is on. Uh, also, just let me see. I might. Uh, 
Let me see. Hold on one second. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. Okay. I'm going to start off with. One second, I'm loading up a picture real fast. So I'm going to start up with SpongeBob first. So we're gonna do, we're actually gonna do all three characters because these guys, they're very easy to draw. Um, and I think, I think this is like a, I'm gonna use a page for every character. So I'm gonna draw the character up here and then, actually I'm just gonna use the whole page. So right now this is, um, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna do SpongeBob first. So you guys are gonna watch me draw SpongeBob. Then uh, we're all gonna work on Gary all together. And then the last one we're gonna do, everyone's just gonna do Patrick by themselves with without me, uh, without me uh, showing you guys. So I wanna see if you guys are able to pick up these like skills. So. Um, I found a picture of Spongebob here on the internet, if you guys can see, so you guys know what I'm drawing, okay? And, um, and when we look at the picture, Spongebob is basically a square character. Spongebob is a one big square character, and you guys are just watching right now, okay? So we have, we have that. Uh, I'm using an orange marker just so then uh, just for this demonstration, okay? And then if you look under his pants, he has like these like legs. They're a little weird, but we can do that as like squares, like little rectangles, and another rectangle here. His arm, we could kind of like do it as like a little circle, like his shirt, and over here as well too. And then we're gonna do one long square here and another long square here. So like when I'm looking at these characters, I'm just like trying to break them down as like, as simple as possible. So here I'm gonna also do a circle because that's like how his hand looked like. Let me show you once again. How... So I'm like, I'm up to here right now, okay? And I'm doing a circle here and then another kind of like oval for his finger. And then his legs, another square, his legs, another square. And his shoes, I'm kind of gonna make an oval, and an oval over here. And then last but not least, his hands, which is like a little square, and a circle, and his fingers. So now we look at that, we're like, okay, cool, like, that's that looks like a robot but it's not spongebob like i you know you you guys asked for spongebob and this is not spongebob so what we're gonna do now is uh let's also put in his eyes his eyes is just basically two circles and uh and his nose so we're just we're gonna just lay everything in so his nose is like a, like a football shape, you know, or like an oval. So eyes, eyes, and, and his mouth, we're kind of, we're going to make it into like a box. It's a box, okay? Cool. Right now, we're just, we're just paying attention on, on how this is being drawn, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my darker marker, uh, my ultraviolet um, and I'm going to now look at the picture that I was drawing and now I'm going to refine it normally a lot of the times it's easier to do it with a lighter pencil because when you do it with a lighter pencil you can just erase it but since this is just a demonstration purpose we're gonna use I'm, I'm using a marker so then I look I, I pay attention to the SpongeBob so I know he has squiggly figures. And I'm just like, I'm looking at the picture and I'm just like, uh, I'm following how he looks like. He's like very easy to draw. So I just drew his shape and this is his side shape right there. He has a shirt. 
he has a tie he has his signature square pants He has his pants, which is, we use a square shape when we blocked it out and now we're, we're refining it. You see? His legs, his socks. And you see how easy it is? It's just like we're, we're basically looking at the picture and we're just laying in all the lines that, that make him look like SpongeBob. Okay, so we're gonna do this fairly quick. So we have time to draw uh, Gary and Patrick. And then here's his, his arm. And his fingers, super easy. And then his other arm, his, let's see, his elbow, his wrist, his finger which they're just like, they're little, they're just circles. They're none too crazy, you know? And now his face. So his face, we're gonna do one circle and his cheek, two circles and his nose, his mouth, And now his his eyelashes. And last but not least, his eyes. And I think, let's see. Do you think he looks like SpongeBob? Like my, my you know? Let's see, what do you think? Not bad, right? Not bad. It's pretty good. I can't even. I can't even. Half this, I can't even draw the mouth correctly. Well, that's that's what that's how we're gonna we're gonna learn today. We're gonna learn how to do that. Like with practice, you will get better. Okay, uh, practice makes for improvement. I've learned that somewhere on the internet. So. Practice makes for improvement. Um, you're never gonna get perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. Um, you can believe it in other things, but it just makes you better. More practice, more better, you know, uh, which is good. Um, now, let me see. Hold on one second. Let me find Gary from SpongeBob. Let me find the picture now. Okay. So I'm gonna find the most, a uh, really simple picture. So this is my SpongeBob. And like, you notice how I like, I did a square in the beginning and then circles for his eyes, an oval, a square for his mouth, square for his pants, square for a uh, rectangle for his legs, oval for his arms, you know? And like it's just like basically like we're breaking down SpongeBob into like different shapes to build him up into how he actually looks like, okay? So everyone, um, everyone get a color pencil. I'm gonna use this or orchid and uh, turn to a new page. I'm gonna write over here, Sponge Bob. Does anyone know how to do the SpongeBob laugh? <laughs> Perfect, I love it, I love it. Okay, so now the next picture that we're going to draw and I'm gonna and I'm gonna like leave this here on the side so you guys can see at the same time. Hold on one second. So So everyone can see what we're drawing. I'm going to leave this picture. I think this is, is this Gary? Yes. Right? Yes, Gary. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen SpongeBob in such a long time, but I know there's the, there's a squirrel, there's there's a Squidward. Sandy. 
There you go. Mr. So, everyone get your, get your color pencil and get something light. For me, I'm going to use something a little bit darker. So, so you guys can see, okay? So, and get, uh, get onto a brand new page. It's, it's probably because of this, right? Yeah. Nah, it's fine. Um, I could, let's see. Lower the pressure. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Okay. I have some little technical difficulties on this side over here. So, <laughs> cool. So let's um let's start off. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the page uh horizontal. So and what we're how we're gonna start off Gary is by doing one big oval. So I'm gonna do it a little bit harder. It's okay if you guys do a little bit lighter. That's fine. For me, I'm going to do it a little bit harder. I'm gonna press hard on the paper so you guys can see it. So you can see it, okay? And then we're kind of gonna make like another oval for his body. And a lot of the times like when you see, like when you're drawing from something or like seeing a picture, um, it's also good to like block out the actual figure So like if you look at him like Gary kind of like looks like a square so like we can kind of draw within a square You know So then we know that when we're drawing his his back We can find the reference to like draw his eyes or the stem of his eyes or his body so then like if you look his body is like half of this square right so if you like kind of like if you kind of like break it down like he's like a little square so like half his body is over here you see i don't know if you if you can tell but it's like you know circle and then his body so now we're gonna do his eyes so his eyes are kind of like on the top part. And they're a little bit further apart. They're not touching each other, so. Okay. Everyone, I want to see what you guys have so far. Let's see. Beautiful, beautiful. Jax, what you got so far? I want to see what you got so far. There you go, beautiful. Okay, let's uh, so now let's uh, let's finish drawing the eyes. So another circle over here, and these are simple shapes. These are the shapes that we've learned a little bit earlier. You know, oval, circle, circle, circle. They're all circles, you know. Um, now we're gonna do kind of like these like long squares which they're basically rectangles another long square which is basically another rectangle okay and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of seconds so you guys can uh, can draw that out okay So, I think we first started off with a circle, and I kind of blocked it off so then you guys can see more or less uh, inside, like, you know, where everything is relationship to this big circle. So then, there's a square, there's a circle, there's a circle, there's a, another circle. There's another circle, a rectangle, and an oval, okay? So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, we're gonna get our, our marker. Any color you want. I think I'm going to use uh, green this time, this uh, cool lime green. Let me see how it looks on the camera. Ooh, I like this. I'm gonna use lime green, and I'm gonna use pink. Okay, so everyone just pick two uh, pick two colors that you guys like. 
I'm gonna give you guys a second. Okay. So I'm gonna use pink and green. So these are the colors that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use pink for his body and green for everything else. So now let's let's refine our shape. Let's look at the let's look at the picture. Can you put mine's big, please? Alright, so let's look at the picture. And if you look at the picture, his eyes overlap his shell, and the shell overlaps his body here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the eyes. So I'm just gonna make I'm gonna I'm gonna make the eyes over here and everyone follow along. So I'm gonna do one eye and you see like over here too, it overlaps his body. So I'm gonna do it over here as well. And then I'm gonna, while I'm at the eyes, I'm going to do his pupils. So I'm just gonna draw that in another circle and one more circle. And then I'm just just to, just to switch it up. I'm gonna get another color to draw the inside of his of his pupils, so it could look weird. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a second to 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 finish that. Let's see if I can make it a little bit more weirder. Oh, look at that. I may have actually turned him evil. Say this again? I may have turned him evil. Look. Okay. Red. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to draw the stem of his eyes. And we're gonna curve. We're gonna use that square that we drew to kinda to follow along that path. But not the same path as the square, because he is he has a curved uh, stems, you know. So we do that on one side, and we're gonna do that on the other side. You see? I give you guys a couple of seconds to to catch up there. So now we're gonna do his, uh, let's see. We're gonna do his body so we could sit the, the shell on top of his body, okay? So we're gonna go around and do a little point. He has like a little pointy mouth thing, you know? Woo, right here. There we go. And then he has like these like squiggles, like these like uh, squiggle U's. So they're like little, like they go, they're they're gonna go like like this, you know. So that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe it'll look. It doesn't matter if it's if it's perfect or not, you know. It's fine. We're 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 all learning here. I've never drew Gary in my life, so this is my first time drawing Gary. One and then his his back under the shell. Is that kind of like uh like one like long S? You know, we wanna do that. And then we wanna connect his his back with the stem of his eye. Okay? And then I'll give you guys a little bit of time to uh, catch up, okay? Okay, so now uh, uh, I want to see everyone's uh, everyone's uh, uh, Gary. I keep on forgetting his name. Let me see what you guys have so far. So this is what I got. Hey, 
What? Uh, there you go. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. It's looking, it's looking very good. All right. So now we're gonna we're gonna bring this on home with the other color that we that we got. Uh, my color was pink. Um, uh, my color that I am picking is pink. I like pink. It's a cool color. Um, pink is not even, pink is like weird. Pink is like not a color. It's like red and white, but I don't know. Um, it's a color. It's hot pink. We're going to do it. Um, so now we're going to do the back shell. And if we look at the back shell, like if we know like where our circle is at, we're kind of just like going to use the circle as a guide. And then we're going to build upon that. So he has this little back piece here and then it goes all the way around to like the top of his eyes. So I'm just going to go make a curve and stop at the top of his eyes. And you can go as slow as you want, just so you can get a nice cool curve. Bam, right there. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cap off his, um, his, his, uh, his shell. Yeah, that's a shell. And we're going to bring it down. We're gonna bring it down and we're gonna go over. So you see it down and over. And then just for just for laughs, just for giggles, we're gonna connect this piece at the bottom here. So it looks like there's like two different lines. Okay. And then I guess here, if you want to, you can add like for extra bonus points. No bonus points, just for just for yourself, just for practice. Um, you can do that little, um, that little S bend that's there, the little dots to make him look more like Gary. And, um, uh, and maybe also this little piece that's down over here at the bottom. Whoop. Super easy. I think this is one of the most coolest and easiest characters that I've ever done in my life. It's, uh, very nice. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a couple of um, a couple of minutes to catch up, and let me let me show you guys what I drew. I'm gonna give you guys some time. So remember, we first started off with the circles, circle here. Actually, let me. Let me stop. Okay. No, that's okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So we started off with uh, with a circle here, another circle here, another circle here, an oval at the bottom, and then squares. And then we came in with our other color, and then we went over with the eyes, the stems, the body, and then we took our other color, and then we went and made the shell. And this is all by just like making the shapes and looking at and looking at our oh, and looking at our character, you see? So I think I think we all did a good um actually before anything, I wanna see what everyone drew. Do it like a good one. I wanna see what everyone drew. I love it. John looks good. Zelimi looks z z Zelime. That's your name, right? Zelime. It looks good. Let's see, John. Awesome. I love it. Let's see, Jocelyn. What you got there so far? Let's see, is that Jax? I love it. That looks. <laughs> is that is that Gary? That's his sound. <laughs> uh, Justin, Justin, what you got so far? Ooh, look at that. That looks cool. I love it. All right. So let's give a round of applause for everyone because I think everyone did a good job on this exercise. Okay. So now we're going to do, uh, we're going to do, uh, what's his name? Patrick. We're going to do Patrick and everyone is going to... Uh, I'm going to give everyone uh, 10 minutes uh, to do um, 
to do Patrick and to to do anything uh, in your imagination around Patrick. I'm gonna do Patrick myself. Let me find a good photo. Yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up a photo of Patrick first. Uh, sponge bomb. I'm gonna find something that's uh okay. This was this was pretty good. Hold on one second. Let me let me get a let me get another picture real fast. Okay, I think I got a I think I got a pretty good picture. Um, I think you guys will agree with. Me. I hope you guys I hope you guys agree agree with me on that one. Oh. Oh. So I think this is a pretty decent picture. It's super simple. Um, not too not too crazy, you know. So before we start this exercise, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can do this exercise within uh, like less than ten minutes. So then I could talk to you guys about other things at the ending of this class. But what we're gonna do is uh, just uh, just uh, do overhead. Right. Just so you can see. Remember what we've learned so far. Like, let's first try to break him up into like different shapes. So he's he's like kind of like a, a rectangle. And if you look, he's like a bunch of like little triangles, you know? Like triangle here, triangle here, triangle here, and then he's, he's like a, a big Yeah, he's a star. So he has like star-shaped uh feet and head. But his body is like kind of like very circular, you know? So we can remember we can put two shapes on top of each other just as long as like we're basically um they call this blocking it out you know we want to block him out and we want to use all those shapes that we've been learning so far to block him out and then draw him in okay so i'm going to flip another page for this exercise we're going to use again uh, a color pencil any pencil you guys want and then we're gonna pick two colors. I'm going to pick this time purple and orange to draw. To draw, um, uh, what's his name? I keep. Oh my god, I keep on forgetting his name. Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> to draw Patrick, and uh, and then I'm gonna draw like cool things behind Patrick. Um, so we're gonna try to do this within um, at least I want to say ten minutes, ten minutes or less. So uh, everyone can do. Uh, you guys can start. I'll be drawing it here and you guys can see what I'm doing just for reference But I want you guys to use what I've taught you and um, and make this happen. Okay, so everyone start go Uh, and just uh, just to let you guys know, if, if you guys have like any questions, you're more than welcome to ask uh, while you're uh, doing this exercise. Okay. So. Yeah.
then join my Patrick. Okay. Oh, almost hmm. done drawing my Patrick, I should say. Okay. We have uh we have a couple of more minutes left. So like let's uh let's put on our, our like, little finishing touches. And that was my Patrick. What happened? I am loving my Patrick. You love your Patrick? He's done. No, I said I'm done with it. Oh, I'm you're done, done with, with your Patrick. Okay, just uh, put like cool things in the background. Look, I'm gonna put in my okay. picture. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Gary in here in my picture, just so we could we could not have him alone. Um, put it on, on mute. Um, here okay. Okay. We're going to take one more minute to finish our, our Patrick. Uh, so everyone just, uh, just do your finishing touches. I'm going to do mines and we're going to do, uh, finish it in one minute. Okay. Cool. So um, I want to see everyone's individual um, uh, Patrick. Oh my God, I keep on forgetting his name. I want to see everyone's individual Patrick. So I'm gonna call everyone everyone by their names. Uh, let me first pull it up so I can see your names here. So first person that I want to see is. Um, it's on my screen, uh, Zelly May. I want to let's show me your Patrick. Beautiful, look at that. Awesome, I love it. He looks very, very happy and very joyous. Okay, next person I want to see just um, Jesseline's uh, Patrick. I love it. Look at that. I love the shorts and everything. He also looks very happy too. Great, I love it. Okay, next person, uh, Jax. I want to see your Patrick. Ooh, look at that. He's in. He's underwater. Look at that. That's awesome. I love it. Great. Next, I want to see John's Patrick. Yeah, this is that's so cool. What what is that next to him? Is that uh, is that Gary? Gary. That's awesome. And let's see, last but not least, I would like to see Jaren's Patrick. Let's see. Let's see. Show, sh yeah, show it right in front of the camera. Look at that. Is he in the house or is he like, he, what's, he, what's he doing right now? He's, he, this is like the background. Oh, that is awesome. I love it. He's outside. Nice. He went outside to get some fresh air. And I think there's one more person here. I don't know if that's... Um, let's see. There's two more people here that says Jose's iPhone and... Okay. And uh, in, in tune S iPad. I don't know if, they can, if they've been drawing with us, but we believe that you've been drawing your Patrick. And let me show you my Patrick. Let's see. 
That's my Patrick, and I drew Gary. I drew Gary with him, and he's under the sea, but the water's yellow right now. So, okay, cool. So I think I think today we did a we did a pretty good job learning how to uh, build up from our from our shapes that we you know that we've been learning. And all of these shapes can make characters like Patrick, uh, characters like Gary, and characters like Spongebob. So I think uh, this week, if you guys want to practice, uh, definitely use your book. Find, you know, cartoons or things that you're watching, you know, and take your time and just basically remember, like, um break everything down into shapes into smaller shapes and then after that add all your details putting all the shapes together is basically called blocking it out so block out all your you know all your characters and then after that um and then after that uh put in all the details um i think next week we're gonna definitely bump it up one more level and um if you guys can think of characters in your in that you know of that you can bring in next week uh, definitely do that. Have like, you know, a character mind, a, a Barbie, a Paw Patrol. I don't know what like, I don't know what, what kids like these days, but like, I like, you know, I like other cartoons. I like Rick and Morty and stuff. I don't know if you guys know about that. Um, but find the, find the cartoon and like next week we're going to bring that in and we're all going to uh, try out different cartoons and, um, and I want to speak also one minute about, um, can I? And um, I also want to speak about one minute about like, uh, just art in general. Um, with like, what we're learning, we're learning a lot of like basic stuff, but like all, all this basic stuff basically will help you in the future to either solve problems, um, just big problems, you know, or any, or like, let's say if you do have a job in the art field, um, you learn how to, to break things down, you know, like the, uh, that's one of the things that um, as like human beings that like, we should learn how to do is just like do break you like my pocket? It's beautiful Jax. I love it. <laughs> is that a pineapple in the back? No, that's his home. Oh, that's awesome. He's he lives in a shell, right? Yeah uh, Okay, so let me uh, let me just wrap this up. Um, but basically, just like, in a rock. basically, like I'm like teaching you guys just how to break things down, and uh, and I think next week uh, I'll I'll talk about um, what you can do with this kind of uh, with these kind of techniques and like where where you can apply this to. Uh, we're all gonna grow up one day. I haven't grown up myself, but we're all gonna grow up one day, and when we you know, try to look for jobs or if you want to stay in the art field, like this is like something that you guys can do uh, for a living and make, you know, make money off of it. Like people buy art, people appreciate art. Um, you guys definitely appreciate art. And I think we're going to leave it at that. Um, just remember to think of a character, bring it in next week. If you guys want to practice in your sketchbooks, definitely do. Practice makes improvement. Um, and I think um, I'll see you guys next week. Cool. So everyone say bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>